Huh. Hey Stan, thanks again for all the goodies for the power drawbar build and thanks for my temporary name here. That's right, Ray Cornelia, drawbars are us. Thanks buddy. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how far I've gotten on the power draw bar. Um, it's still in the rough stages, but I want to go over each individual piece and show you how it's come together. Um, I don't have much video of machining. Um, it's pretty straightforward machining. Uh, most of you know how to do, so I don't wanna bore you with all those details. Anyway, uh, I'll get a tighter shot and I'll go over uh, each little part and how it's functioning and uh, then give you a little demo of it. So I'll be right back. All right, first I'll start with the, um, the switch, which you've all seen. Um, basically, this was just a uh, piece of aluminum, half inch aluminum. It has an exhaust port drilled in it, um, two eighth inch uh, pipe, uh, 90s. Um, I'm using this uh, poly hose that I got here local, um, but I want to switch over to the poly hose that Stan gave me. It's a lot better quality. Um, but I wanted to test with this stuff because this stuff's like 10 cents a foot, so you can chop it up. And um, This was lapped, this surface, and it has uh, the original gasket that came off the back side of the air gun here. So basically what we just have is we have what I call in and out. Um, and it just activates uh, one, one line is in, one line for out, okay? These lines run up to a T. Uh, one side of the T, this is your charging side, of course. Uh, this goes to your, um, your out, and this one goes to your in on the back side. Now, um, I temporarily uh, just used Delron. Um, I just machined this real quick press them in here. Um, it's working pretty well. As you can see, I just have two small springs here at the bottom. Um, just cheapy springs from a local hardware that fit over the 5 8 This is 17-4 stainless. I had a stick of it in the shed. I used that. <clears throat> All I did was polish it a little bit to make it smooth. It was pretty smooth, but just from sitting around, it got a little cruddy. Um, so, I have a piece of this Delron in here, and in e these two here, these two holes here. Um, the holes are uh, three quarter inch, and these are five eighths. This piece was already on this piece of aluminum I had, so I just am using it for now. Um, I think I want to switch over to bronze, bronze bushings. Um, it, it runs pretty smooth, but I can feel a little bit of drag. Um, Okay, so back to the charging system. So on the other side of the 90, you're charging one of the cylinders. I, I want to mention, you don't have to have two cylinders. I did it for one reason. I wanted to make sure I was getting sufficient thrust on the rod here. So what I did is I cut out the original T that I had on these uh, with the bleeder valves on either end with one cylinder. I added the other cylinder just to get more power. And it, and it worked out for me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, choking on myself. Anyway, um, the top plate is just another piece of that half inch bar, um, half by two, with two um, uh, quarter 20 set screws holding it in. Oh, it's bleeding. Look at that. Anyway, um, that's just air, air tool lube. <laughs> Keep everything nice and slickery. Anyway, um, the bottom is the same thing, a quarter 20, holding them to the plate in the bottom of the rods and the three quarter inch socket. Um, and what I did is I put, I put these adjusters on these rods uh, right here. So I got, actually it'll go, it'll go down further when it's not on the machine because it's, you got the draw bar there to stop you. So I have it to where these don't bottom out, so they're not slamming the cylinder. They're stopping and slamming on the draw bar. So um, basically one cylinder works for in and one cylinder works for out. 
Um, and then the bleed valves, of course, uh, bleed off and allow it to, to come back up and retract. So anyway, uh, I'll hook up some air and show you a little demonstration. I'm running 90 PSI to this switch. So uh, this is going to be our in. And this will be our out. Okay, what I'll do is I'll cut and I'll mount it to the machine real quick and then show you a demo on the machine. Be right back. Here's a quick shot of its temporary installation. I just got it up there for some testing. The switch isn't even mounted yet. I just have it sitting here. Temporary tubing. I want to use the uh, poly that Stan sent me. It's much better quality. And there's the bleed off valves that Stan sent me. In some of the 90s right here. So what I'll do is I'll cut and uh, come back um, after I get the air hooked up and show you a little demo. I hope you enjoyed the draw bar series. Um, I want to do some final touches to it, so I'll do one more video when it's completely uh, smoothed out and with the new poly on it. And I want to thank everyone for all your positive comments, suggestions, ideas. Um, it helped me out along the way. It was a fun project. Um, if you want to do one yourself, feel free to shoot me any questions, man. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.